Hi friends, this is C.A. Kiran Kumar. In this video, let us discuss about the new labor code and its impact on the salary of an employee. Generally, private organizations restrict the component of basic salary while offering the salaries to bear minimum contribution towards PF and gratuity as well. And the balance part of salary will be paid to the employee in the form of various allowances like house rent allowance, conveyance allowance, leave travel allowance, any other special allowances etc. And these allowances are major component for people in higher salary range. The employee also doesn't object to the employer keeping his basic salary at bare minimum because he feels that to the extent his own contribution to PF comes down and his take home salary will go up. Because of this reason, he won't object. Under the new labor code which was applicable from next financial year, the salary has to be structured in such a way that various allowances shall not exceed 50% of the salary of the employee. That means the minimum basic on which PF should be paid should be 50% of the total CTC and in other words basic salary and dearness allowance should not exceed other all allowances. With the increased proportion of basic salary in the overall package the contribution to various retirement schemes like employee PF and national pension scheme will go up in monetary term at the end of the service period and the contribution to PF by the employee also increased correspondingly. Therefore, the employee in hand salary will be going down significantly due to increased contribution by the employer and employee to PF account. So let's understand this with an example for new labor code versus old labor code. For example, your monthly salary or monthly CTC is 1 lakh and as of now the basic salary will be 15,000 and your basic PF contribution is 12% that is 15,000 into 12% it will be 1,800 and all other allowances like house rent allowance, special allowance, any other allowances will be covered under these allowances as of now as per current labor code that is 83,200 and employee, employee PF contribution at the rate 12% is 18% and net take home salary after deduction of all these PF and in the current resume that is 96,400 and salary for tax purposes 98,200 under, under the current resume that is 1 lakh minus PF contribution employee PF contribution that is 1800 that is 98,200 and into 12 the annual tax annual salary for the tax purpose is 11 lakh in a 78,400 that is 98,200 into 12 and a deduction for the time being I'm taking as full deduction 1 lakh 50,000 and standard deduction which is allowed for an employee is 50,000 and then the taxable salary will comes to 9 lakh 78,400 that is 11 lakh 78,400 minus 150,000 minus 50,000 that is 978,400 and net tax payable is 1,8,118 under new labor code the gross monthly salary or monthly CTC is 1 lakh and you have to see the monthly basic salary should be at least 50% as per the new labor code so we have to take 50,000 or more so minimum the minimum basic salary as per the new labor code is 50% of the monthly or gross CTC. So here I am taking 50,000 and the employee employer contribution at the rate 12% should be 50,000 into 12% that is 6,000 and any other allowances. The employee PF contribution should also be calculated on basic salary only. Then the employee in hand salary will be comes to 88,000 that is 1 lakh minus 6,000 employer contribution and 6,000 
employee contribution and then salary for tax purpose will comes to 94000 and the net taxable salary will comes to 928000 under proposed labor code and the net tax payable will be 98100 as per the slab rates given for the financial year i have taken so the annual tax saving here you can observe the enhanced salary will be reduced from the previous labor code to new labor code in the previous old labor code the amount is 96400 and under the current new labor code the enhanced salary will be 88000 this is because of mainly basic salary condition given or proposed in the new labor code but tax saving will be if, if you see tax payable under the old regime is 108180 but under the new proposed code will be 98100 only so here you can save tax under the new labor code is 10080 rupees under the new labor code take home salary is reducing but the tax benefit and contribution to the pf and gratuity is more and you will get bulk amount at the time of retirement so so we can conclude that temporarily we are taking less amount in terms of uh, enhanced salary monthly but we can receive the bulk amount in the future in terms of gratuity and pf so this is for the day thank you very much for more interesting updates please watch my channel and subscribe thank you very much